The big idea behind threat indicators is that normally when humans develop systems for detecting malware, they write rules, also known as signatures, that make a binary decision about whether or not a file is good or bad. But when it comes to looking at questions of suspicion, we're not in a binary world anymore. So we want to know for files that we couldn't automatically convict as bad, what's the probability that they're bad? Some files are ambiguous. So for example, an attack tool like Metasploit may be normative in the context of a, a pen testing company, but not normative at a law firm. So a lot depends on context when it comes to detection. What we're doing with the Threat Indicators dashboard is showing you the, the most suspicious files on your network and ordering them by suspicion score. There are five or six machine learning models that we've used as part of the Threat Indicators feature and automatically sifting through hundreds of thousands of files potentially on your network and identifying the most suspicious 10 or 20 and then using machine learning to, provide, to, to put those files into context so you can decide whether or not you want that file on your network.